I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but appearances matter. What is my current personal style saying about me? The way that you dress tells a story about who you are. If you want people to respect you, then you need to dress respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about the lessons that i learned from inventing anna i absolutely loved this netflix show and regardless what you think of the show or anna delvey herself i really believe that there was some positive life lessons and also tips and tricks on how to look expensive how to look polished how to look put together and how to look refined and that's what we're going to be talking about today in terms of looking good in general but definitely looking put together looking more refined looking more polished and looking expensive if that's something that interests you then keep on watching if you're new here hello my name is lorraine and my channel is Lori lux and i focus on all things curvy fashion affordable luxury lifestyle and also a dash of motherhood if you love all that i hope that you do then please subscribe to my channel and join the family as always links to what i'm wearing will be linked down below in the description box if you haven't heard of inventing anna first of all where have you been okay you need to go and binge watch that immediately it's this netflix show that's partially fictional and partially real life and it's based on this woman called anna delvey who pretends to be a german heiress and nearly managed to swindle the new york socialite of 40 million dollars okay but that's not what this video is about okay this video is about practical tips of how to look expensive because if you watch inventing anna you would have seen how classy she was how put together that she was the fact that she managed to nearly swindle 40 million dollars from the new york socialite should tell you everything because she looked the part she looked like she was a german heiress okay not only in her attitude Attitude, but also in the way that she dressed because her whole brand her whole personal style was built on being a German heiress which obviously means that she was rich so the first thing that I took away from inventing Anna is that appearances matter that bitch was flawless I don't mean fashion sense I mean real taste she knew all the right things to say and do because of the way that Anna looked, because of the way that she presented herself, she was able to convince people that she was a German heiress, okay? From her hair, her makeup, the way she spoke, her mannerisms, and most importantly, the way that she dressed. This is an important lesson to take away that you need to look the part, okay? If it's a specific event that you're going to, you need to dress for that part. People tend to get upset or even offended when certain establishments have a dress code and i've always wondered why because that is their establishment and you want to go there so why not respect their dress code if they say that they want you to dress formally if they say they don't want you to be wearing sneakers or trainers if they say that they want you to basically put an effort because of the ambience or the environment that they have created or because of the reputation that they have built they want to maintain their standards and that's something that you have to respect so i appearances do matter the same thing applies to work there's certain clothes that you wouldn't wear to work okay that is not professional if you work in the corporate world you know that there's a certain way of dressing that you need to maintain you're not going to turn up to work in your flip-flops and in your joggers because that's not professional okay if you go to the ascot for example to watch the horses you need to dress the part okay not only to respect that establishment and to maintain their standards but for you to also look the part and to fit in i know that life is not about fitting in or fitting in some kind of mold but it's definitely about looking the part if you saw anna delvey when she went to a fashion show she dressed the part when she went to a museum she dressed the part when she went to dinner wherever that she was she dressed the part because appearances matter i'm sorry to be the one to tell you but this is a fact of life when it comes to looking put together looking refined and looking polished that's something 
something to always have in mind where are you going are you dressing the part is there a dress code that you need to follow should you be a bit more modest depending on where you're going these are things that you need to be thinking about when your focus is looking refined and looking polished and looking put together Anna Delvey believed in her own source she was self-assured and she was confident maybe it's what's helped the both of us going forward if you stop thinking about me like everyone else like basic you know this is not only the cheapest but easiest way of looking expensive and looking put together and looking refined because when you walk in a room and you know that you're just that girl okay that says something in itself looking expensive is a lifestyle looking expensive is an attitude looking expensive is just not from the exterior it's a way of being it's a lifestyle it's it's who you are if you feel like you're expensive from within that will radiate outward okay and this doesn't mean that you have to be the loudest person this doesn't mean that you have to be the center of attention this is something that Anna Delvey done so perfectly she could be in the room and she could not be talking to anybody she could just be doing her own thing but people always seemed to draw to her because she wasn't trying to impress other people she wasn't trying to be the center of attention and that something that just draws people to you and that's something that just makes you feel more expensive because you're believing in your own source you don't have to be something that you're not you don't have to be somebody that you're not you don't have to be trendy because this is in fashion now so you have to dress this way if you have your own personal style and you know how to dress yourself you know how to do your hair you know how to do your makeup you don't have to worry about what other people are doing that also makes you look expensive. You are radiating your own personal source. You are just that girl. Anna Delvey was that girl, let me tell you. And what I've noticed is when people are striving to look expensive or to look polished, it's not just them looking like they've got money. It's not just them looking a certain way. It's a feeling that they're after, but that comes from believing in your own source. That comes from self acceptance it comes from self-love the next thing that i took away from inventing anna is personal style is a brand so at the beginning of the show if you noticed when when people were actually describing anna delvey they were describing her personal style the bitch knew how to dress chic parisian couture zara off the rack someone with money i didn't understand it they weren't just talking about who she was as a person, how she carried herself, but they spoke about how she dressed and they spoke about her personal style and what that meant to them and also what her personal style said about her. And this is why your personal style is so, so important because it is your signature. It defines you. When you walk into the room, you are making a statement. You are introducing yourself and you're saying, this is who I am by how you're dressed and Anna Delvey was able to do this immaculately. She was able to reinvent herself depending on where she was going or who she was going to be with because personal style and the way that you dress is a form of expression. It's like a language. You're talking to someone with your clothes and with your style and you're telling them who you are, what you're about and this is why I say personal style is a brand. I actually have a video on how to identify your personal style and how to elevate your personal style if you guys want to check that out personal style and looking refined and polished go hand in hand okay because it's not just about putting outfits together and going out the door it's intentional the clothes that you have how you put them together say something about who you are say something about your style and say something about how people see you and if you want to look expensive if you want to look put together if you want to look refined Mind, you need to actually identify what is my personal style what is my current style saying about me what kind of personal style do i need to have for me to look put together what kind of personal style do i need to have for me to look effortless what kind of clothes should i have in my wardrobe for me to look refined how should i put outfits together for me to look expensive and that's why personal styling is so so important it is your brand it is your signature should not be taken lightly and i love 
love the way they were able to depict Anna Delvey in Inventing Anna because through her personal style you were just able to see the kind of person that she was. There was an essence of effortless chic. She always looked expensive but it always seemed so effortless okay this then takes me to the next thing that i learned from inventing anna which is less is more this is something i've spoke about in countless of my videos seeing it in inventing anna definitely validated it for me because her style was just effortless and not just her style if you look at that socialite scene okay the style is just so effortless they just look like they haven't put any effort in now granted majority of them obviously wear designer clothes branded clothes which everybody's not going to afford but however if you actually just take away the designer and you take away the brand and you just look at what they were wearing if you look at the colors that they were wearing if you look at the patterns that they were wearing if you look at the style of clothing that they were wearing they all really looked effortless and it just didn't seem as though there was just too much going on even aside from the clothes okay if we're just looking at the hair and makeup very very simple look her face was basic peasant face which is how you know she was legitimately wealthy. Whether she had a bun, she had her hair pulled back, she had her hair down in curls, the makeup that she had, even if she had a bold lip, the earrings that she had, everything was just effortless. It wasn't loud, it wasn't a lot going on, but it was all complementing each other it was all minimal it wasn't giving minimalistic vibes okay less is more is not minimalism that's a whole different plethora of lifestyle and a way of living but less is more is just effortless chic like i don't know how else to describe it is looking like you haven't put too much effort in but you're still looking polished you're still looking refined and you're still looking put together if looking expensive and looking polished is something that you strive for always remember that less is more when you're doing your makeup when you're doing your hair when you're putting accessories on the kind of shoes that you're wearing when you're getting dressed and you're styling and you remember less is more your outfit 10 times out of 10 will always be polished will always be refined and will always be effortless chic the next thing that i learned from inventing anna is to dress how you want to be addressed okay if you want people to take you seriously you need to dress the part and i'm not talking about going on a job interview or being at work i'm talking about on a day-to-day -day life if you want people to take you seriously you need to dress how you want to be addressed if you dressing overtly sexual people are going to address you as such people are going to make an assumption about you that this is the kind of person that you are and you might not even be in a overtly sexual person when Anna Delvey started her campaign for her socialite business okay she quickly realized that she needed to dress the part for people to take her seriously from the way that she did her hair the way that she did her makeup the kind of clothes that she wore she showed up as that businesswoman and people addressed her as a businesswoman so in terms of real life whether it's for friends or family functions or wherever dress how you want to be addressed because like i mentioned previously the way that you dress tells a story your personal style is your brand and that's how people see you and that's how people judge you because people do be judging let's not get it twisted okay if you want people to respect you then you need to dress respectfully respectfully okay however it is you see yourself and you want other people to see that's how you need to dress now i'm not saying that go out there and dress a certain way and pretend to be a different kind of person person portrayed to have a different life no that will be me promoting swindling and we're not in that business i'm talking about showing up for yourself with the way that you're dressing putting more thought and effort into your personal style i'm talking about being proud of what you look like i'm talking about when people see you or see pictures of you or videos of you people will have a good impression of you the right idea of the person that you are i hope that makes sense in essence i believe that Anna Delvey was the epitome of main character energy in the way that
that she dressed, in the way that she saw herself, in the way that she wanted people to see her, in the way that she carried herself. And I think this played a huge part in her style, just looking good, looking expensive, because she was the main character in every single way. Make sure you guys check out my video on how to become a main character. So those are my tips on how to look expensive in reference to inventing Anna. What are your thoughts of inventing Anna and Anna Delvey when it comes to looking expensive? I really, really like to know, okay? If you have liked this video, then do not forget to give me a thumbs up as it really helps me out. If you come all this way, thank you so much, but do not click off from this video without subscribing to my channel. Press that notification bell so you don't miss out any videos from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye lovely.